Hello everyone, this is Mr. Laser again with Ag Mechanics. Uh, today, uh, my wife decided that uh, I need to do part of my honeydew list instead of just being outside doing things that I kind of enjoy doing. So today I'm hanging curtains, so I thought uh, this would be actually a pretty beneficial thing for you guys to learn and see how uh, what I'm doing and how the process that I'm doing it. <clears throat> so first things first, let me flip this around. Okay, here's my curtains. That's the uh, rod, actually, the curtains right there. I've been told I'm not allowed to go any further because my wife will yell at me because she says our house is messy, which it's not. She's just being nice. Okay, so we'll come over here. I'll flip around and show you where I'm going to be hanging these curtains. Okay, right here. You got to check out the Palominos and the, uh, my buck mount there, though. So that's important, um, let's be honest. All right, so here's where I'm hanging them up. I've already got one started here, okay? And you can see that uh, what I had to do was put in a drywall anchor. I'm going to show you how to figure out where to put your anchor. Um, and then uh, how to install it. So first things first, I need my level. Okay, I'm gonna show you a real simple, easy way to do this. So here's the end of my level, okay? My finger from the edge of here to there is two inches. How do I know that? Because I've measured it before. Um, those of you that don't know those types of things measure from the edge of your level to wherever you want it sticking out from the corner of your um molding once you have that marked you can very easily come over put this on your molding slide it over to hit the mark Okay, right there. And then mark it. Okay, do the same thing on both sides. Over here, slide, mark your corner. Right. Okay, I mark it with the top. I mark it with the top of the corner because uh, that then also gives me a height up above my molding so that the curtain uh, rods are higher than your moldings uh, and your trim. Uh, because if you put it right over top, it will uh, not look right. So, uh, per my wife. Uh, if it were me, I'd put them right in the studs, which is right here because you've got a wall here so you know a window so you know there's a stud here um i don't like putting anything in a wall especially drywall that doesn't have studs but you know it's just not aesthetically pleasing um and my wife's kind of a designer so here we are she's uh really good at it though so i don't complain do, 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 do. Yeah, I want dinner. She said I just want dinner. All right, so now that we've done that, I'm going to take a another wall anchor. So these are the wall anchors. They come in uh, your package when you buy uh, new curtain rods. And I'm going to get one out here. Okay. Here it is, right here. I've pre-drilled the holes already, but I'll show you what drill bit I've used. There goes my drill bits. Here's a drill bit. The way I check to see uh, what size drill bit will work is I take your, your anchor, slide it behind, and all you should see are threads, which is what I have right now. Okay, so here we are. You're gonna take and screw this wall anchor. I'm trying to do this while looking at the camera into the wall. This has threads, so it should go in. Now, 
um, you want it to be tight because if it's not tight, uh, you will have, you'll have issues. Okay. So I'm going to actually take a pair of needle nose pliers, just go on the edge here to help me screw this in. Say, so, well, you're beating that up. Eh, maybe, but the outside really doesn't matter as much because it's going to be covered up. And what really matters is that you have enough support on your anchor going to the wall. Okay? Then you want to peel this junk off. And there you go. Okay, now you have one wall anchor. So, now that we've Came over, we've put a wall anchor in, and I've got my uh, screw set there. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is make sure that this is level, straight up and down. So I'll take my level, put it flush there, till my bubble's there, and we're there. Next, I'm gonna take my marker or pen, draw a circle, and it's flexible. I don't have it tight, because if I did, then I couldn't do that. So what I'm gonna do is drill a hole right here. Come up here, grab your drill. Okay. My wife says I'm getting the mess. Um, if you see a mess, please don't comment that you see a mess. Um, just say it looks nice so I don't get in trouble. Okay, so now I've got my anchor. I've got a hole for my other anchor and I'll put the anchor in there. Um, once I do that, once I do that, it'll be done. Uh, then all I'll have to do is tighten up the screws um, and set the uh, uh, curtain rod on, okay? Um, I'm not gonna go any further with this because this has already been seven minutes and 27 seconds. Uh, that's more than long enough for me and I'm sure it's long enough for you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about as far as how to mount those brackets, uh, let me know. Um, and uh, hopefully this video kind of gave you an idea. Uh, I haven't showed you how to find studs yet that will be coming, um, but in this situation, it doesn't matter because the curtain rods aren't that heavy. I like to put everything in a stud, but uh, with these anchors, it'll be okay. Um, again, at the end of this, comment your name, something you liked about the video, maybe something you learned, something I can do to improve. Um, and that's about all I got. If you need anything, let me know. Have a good day, y'all.